Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is an indoor worm farm channel, and today we are going to be doing a light harvest of my DIY bin so that we can clean it out and put the worms and the leftovers into blue. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start gathering up everything off the top here. I have my overhead shop light as well as a, a little incandescent lamp that I'm gonna be using to drive the worms down into the material where they feel comfortable. And we're going to use that uh, basic trait of worms because if they are left out in the light, it's not so much that they're you know maybe going to be killed by predators, which of course is bad, However, they are sensitive to ultraviolet light and they will become paralyzed and die if they are out in the light, in addition to being dried out and possibly eaten by predators. I digress. So first I'm gonna get my little bucket and we're gonna start scooping things off the top and uh, probably we'll speed up some of it about five times so that you can see the process of harvesting the castings and getting the worms separate.
so down on the bottom layer, this has some castings that could probably be uh, sifted out, but I think what we're going to have to do here, just because um, it is so wet in here, and the uh, migration from the top level has uh, caused them to uh, run down the sides of the bin. So I'm thinking maybe that light harvesting them while still in the container uh, was not my best idea. I kind of thought that I was going to take a page out of uh, Patrick's book and kind of do a uh, aggravation method where they go down the holes into the next layer down, but that didn't quite translate correctly here. So let's go over to Blue and give him his new roommates. Okay, here we are back. I just wanted to give you a view of how much room Blue has to accept new roommates. And then I will put you down and we will start uh, hauling them in. Okay, first things first, I'm going to put the middle layer down here with the most finished of Blue so that basically I can keep like with like, and the middle is almost done, but just too wet. So that's where that is gonna go. Good thing we took out uh, 10 or 15 gallons last time. This is still just ridiculously full. And to be fair, I am a little worried Blue's gonna flip over. I put a few extra bricks over here to try and mitigate that, but uh, <clears throat> until we can process through the next couple of months to uh, get Blue more real estate in the feeding end where all the worms can move out, um, I'm going to have my fingers crossed for quite a long time. Let me flip you around and we'll give him his new roommates and a new feeding. Okay, this is the very bottom where all of the large food was. And I'll scrape everything out and uh, get that cleaned out and put all everything in here in a little bit. Okay, then the worms that were light migrated. I'll give you a look at them. I'm not sure how many of them migrated under. Looks like most of them. So that aggravation method did work. Um, so that's good. Most of them ended up in the lower levels. So good, that's not, I was kind of concerned that it would be too much to put down at this end, but it looks like it's going to be just right. I'm going to give them a little bit of food here. Let me move you down. I'm going to put some peppers, some pumpkin, and then the leftover food from the, the DIY bin itself. Reasonably sure once I get the bedding in there, that that will give them enough to be busy for quite a while. Okay, this is one of my 10 gallon bins that I used to do experiments in. Gonna put that all over the bottom here and give that a nice covering. And then I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna put bedding at this other end as well, because there is a little bit of undigested food. Okay, so this bedding has been resting for a couple of weeks, so that should go pretty fast and uh, give us uh, really good results with blending in the different populations. Here we are, finally done with the project of getting blue all of his roommates and putting all of my mixed species bins together in one big bin. Okay, well now we've got the DIY bin with the mixed species all in with blue now. If you like the DIY series, there's a playlist for you right over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right over here. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.